take you guys with me so I'm just gonna do my makeup real quick and then we're just gonna go do that um, I did my foundation and powder already I just got to do my brows and my eye makeup and everything so I'm gonna do that real quick gonna do my hair I'm trying to find like where exactly the boxes with hair stuff can't find it my outfit of the day I'm just wearing this Utah shirt and, and then it has like a pattern on the back it's really cute this is what I'm gonna wear to go shopping I don't know where I want to go yet I'm thinking maybe Walmart first because I'm gonna be making some shoes for my cousin's birthday because he's turning two in August, like next month. And I wanna be making some shoes like ahead of time so that they're done and I'll have to sit and worry about it last minute. So I'm gonna do that. And then I might go to Dollar Tree. All right, so I'm going to the store. Oh my gosh, there's literally a lady on my butt. Get off my butt. There is cops like on this back road by my neighborhood all the time and they always pull people over if you go like five over the speed limit and it's like 35 miles per hour and if you go 40 they pull you almost everyone over for that and this lady's i'm already going 40 and this lady's so close to me that if i hit my brakes she'd probably hit me another thing that happened to me is my aunt is in town and her car's behind me and it was backed up enough where i thought i could go around it and I scraped my car against my house I guess the brick <laughs> and now there's a big scrape along the side of it I'll have to show you guys but yeah that, now my car even looks even more ghetto I already drive a really stupid cheap ghetto car I mean it's a car car's a car but now it looks so bad and it was in perfect condition and I totally just scraped the side of my car so that's always fun now I have a damaged car on one side so the value in this has gone down probably a lot now just because that stupid scratch and then on my Hyundai like a year after I got it I backed into a truck's tow hitch and like there was like a crack in my rear bumper I've always had damage some sort of damage on every car I've had and then the car before my Hyundai was my first car it was a Honda CRV and it was already damaged I bought a damaged car so, yeah, I've never had a car without damage. It's like, that's just my luck or something. I don't know. All right, so you need to get skin color. This is skin color, right? It just looks a little dark. It's like, that's not it. This is like the skin color. So I just got on Walmart. Um, I didn't. I wasn't gonna get a Utah shirt, but I decided not to. So I'll just show you guys what I got real quick. Got the shoes for my cousin. There's black little slide ons. Then I had to get skin color paint because I don't have any skin color paint. Pretty much all I got. Um, I'm probably gonna go to um, Dollar Tree real quick just to see what they have. Cause sometimes they have like some really cool things. So I just want to see what they have. And then I'm gonna see if they still have those. Um, battery powered fans because K 
case thing gets really hot in that room at night and they have like little dollar um, battery powered fans so I might get one so that case in can have more fans on him at night so I'm praying that they still have those but I'm gonna go check left Dollar Tree. Um, I spent way more than I wanted to, but that's okay. So the bag, I have two full bags, so when I get home, I'll definitely do a little haul. It's not going to be a gigantic haul. I never can do big hauls, but hopefully I can start doing that soon. I just can't get myself to spend money, and that's a good thing. I don't want to be an overspender, but yeah, I'm going to start heading home, and I'll see you guys when I get there, and I'll do a little haul. Oh, before I go home, I just want to show you guys my new sunglasses. Like, I lose my sunglasses like all the time, so I think getting them from the dollar store is smart when you lose your glasses. They are a little bent though. But I think um, Dollar Tree is a smart place to get your glasses from because if you're like me and lose your glasses all the time, this is like the place to go. But these are really great. Like, they work really well. Um, they're really cute. They have really cute sunglasses. Like, I was shocked. But I think I like these most. They look more up to date, you know, if you know what I mean. But yeah, so these are the sunglasses. All right, so I just got back. I'll show you guys what I got. So this sack, and then there's also this sack. So in this first sack, I got mouthwash because I really needed some mouthwash. And dollar store mouthwash really isn't any different than you can get from like Walmart or whatever, Target or whatever. So I got some mouthwash. I wanted to try their Marcellar water. I'm not sure. It's probably gonna be the exact same. It even smells identical to the the micellar water you that one brand. I don't remember the exact brand of the other micellar water, but like the name brand Marcellar water or whatever. So I wanted to try this. Then I also got some dry shampoo because it was a dollar and dry shampoo is dry shampoo. Um, smells pretty good. So it's dry shampoo, looks like this. It says compared to Batiste dry shampoo. So it's probably the same thing, just in a different container. And then I got some deodorant because you know, dollar store deodorant. I think deodorant's a good deal. Um, it's a secret, it's like the original scent. Um, smells, I love the way this smells. I always get my deodorant from the dollar store. Kaysen, some bubble bath, some baby shark. It's shampoo, but I don't like putting this in his hair. Got this for his bubble bath. So he really liked baby shark and he just ran out of his baby shark. So I'm just, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze this into the baby shark container. Like that has like the lid, like that has the baby, the actual shark and it has like a lid on it. I'm just gonna pour this into that. So got some of that. I got one of these. Do you guys remember drinking out of these as kids? These sip mugs Because I remember when I would sleep over at my grandma's house, I would always drink the Nesquik chocolate milk out of these. I can't stand Nesquik now, but when I was a kid, I really loved it. And I would always drink it out of these. It has like the little lid. It comes off. I got this for Kaysen. See how he would like this. Drink out of so yeah, I got this thing. I got some spoolies because I was using a really, really old spoolie in my eyebrows, so I got more spoolies. These are mascara ones, but they also work for spoolies, so I got some spoolies. And then I got this eyeshadow brush, it's a Wet n Wild brand. Um, I've had these before and I really liked them, so got another one. I got a paint palette 
to put the paint in when I paint the shoes. I'll show you guys the shoes in just a minute, but I got a paint palette for the shoes. And then I got Kason some more dinosaurs because he is obsessed with dinosaurs right now. He calls them RARs, so I got him like a little set of dinosaurs. And I got him some first word flashcards. So I'm actually gonna unbox these real quick. It's supposed to like help your toddler learn how to talk. And so, see? This one, the, the, like there's one that says house, fun, fun, garden, um, bounce, um, run, like it just has a whole bunch of words and it's like a Winnie the Pooh themed one. So I got him that. Comes in like this little packaging. I'm gonna keep these in the packaging so they don't get lost, but. Got this um, peel off face mask. Like I'm gonna try this so you guys don't have to, but it's like a bright and cucumber peel off face mask. It smells like cucumber melon. That literally is so nostalgic, that scent. So I have some cucumber melon that smells so good. I got this book that says God's Creation. Um, oh no, it's ripping on the inside. Oh, oh well. Anyway, but it says God's Creation. It talks about how he created space, the sun, the earth animals things like that so i want to i wanted to get in more books if i would have known this was torn i wouldn't even bought it but it's fine i got god made nature and it was like god made this guy god he made the birds and then god made the sea he made the fish just like things like that and it looks like this so cute got him my dentist visit and then it has like a little bite out of the corner. How cute is that? But I don't know. What in the world? My God, all these books are damaged. Are you serious right now? Don't buy books from the dollar store. But it, says, it has like talks about I'm going to the dentist, like a little monster. It has like the dentist showing his teeth, things like that. So it'll help your kid, I guess, not be afraid of the dentist. So it's really cute, but kind of disappointed that two out of the three books are damaged. <laughs> I got these like food trays. He needed some more food trays and you know, dollar store, it's a great place to get food trays. They're made out of really durable plastic. So this dishwasher safe, everything like that. So have like a drink, a bunch of sides. So I got a red one and then a green one. So that's pretty much all I've got. Um, I know this was a really small haul, but if you want, I have an idea where I want to make a YouTube video trying Dollar Tree <laughs> um, masks and like baby products, perfume, hairspray, everything like that. And if you guys are interested in that, please let me know down below. I, I believe in total this was $19 for all this. So got 19 items for $19 really good deal and then yeah so we put all this away so that pretty much sum sums up this little shop with me and haul if you guys enjoyed this video let me know down below in the comments and hit that like button and if you are new here and would like to join my little youtube family and see more content like this go ahead and hit that subscribe button my goal is to have 100 subscribers by september because I've had my channel for almost a year now with my subscriber count just growing slowly, but it's growing. When I started, like maybe a month or two ago, I had 24 subscribers, now I have 70. So it has gone somewhere. But if you do, if you do enjoy the, my videos, please, please, please feel free to subscribe. You won't be disappointed. But yeah, I will go ahead and I'll see you guys in the next video. It's